What's going on family? It's Jose from Bait and Bougie. And today I'm coming at you with a rod comparison between the Cast King Pair G2 and the Luz Carbon Fire. So the reason why I'm comparing these two is because they're about in the eh, same price range. Actually the Luz Carbon Fire is $79.99. Now every once in a while you can catch it on sale. I know I got mine, it was $59.99, somewhere around that range. Uh, and the Cast King Perigee 2 is actually $59.99 off of Amazon. Uh, I just got the Loose and it's a great rod and it served me quite well. But how does it match up to the Cast King Perigee 2? So the way I'm going to do this comparison is I'm going to start from the bottom of the rod, compare each, and finish probably with either the blanks or the guides. And then at the end, I'll draw my conclusion on the two rods. But, at, you know, of course, leave it up to you all, the viewers, and you guys decide. Let's start off with the bottom of the rods. <clears throat> Right here, this is the bottom of the Luz. It has a EVA foam grip bottom, and it has this amazing, pleasing to the eyes, wind grips. I mean, if you've held a rod with these wind grips, you already know that that feels amazing. You know, it feels like uh, if you've ever held a tennis racket with the wind grips or a baseball bat with the wind grips, it feels amazing. When it comes to the Casking Pair G2, there's the bottom of the Casking, which of course they put a little bit more detail into the bottom. They've got their logo, and then it's got an EVA foam grips. Personally, I prefer cork, but this price range, it's hard to get quality, quality cork. It starts falling apart like it did on my other one that I've used in a ton of videos. My, uh, I don't know if you guys can really see it. There it is. There's a good shot of it. On my ugly stick elite, cork starts falling apart. And the reason why I prefer, prefer cork is just the way it feels. And so for just feeling, definitely goes to the carbon fire. Moving along to the real seat. So what Luz calls their skeleton real seat, it exposes more of the blank. So versus just this top where the reel would sit. Let's try to get this on right here. It does leave a little bit exposed on the side. I wouldn't call that exactly skeletonized because <clears throat> you really can't feel it. I mean, I, I don't feel it. Another thing I don't like too is when you clamp it down, it does leave the threads exposed on the real seat. I don't like that. Yeah, it doesn't really affect performance, but sometimes you feel it and it's just unpleasing to the eyes. Moving along to the casking. So the casking has a skeleton, a, what I would call a true skeletonized real seat. As you can see, the carbon fiber poking out right there at the bottom. And I've got that right here. And the threads are at the bottom, leaving it not exposed so your finger won't get caught on it. EVA on the top. Very skeletonized grip, very strong. And so I could still definitely feel the blank. So, get, definitely give that to Cast King. Let's go to the hook keep. The hook keep on the Cast King has the Shark Cast King logo. It's right up here up top. The loose is all the way down on the bottom. For some of you, that may not be necessarily an issue. For me, if I'm doing my drop shot, 
when I do it on this, well then the weight kind of just drags on the bottom. I'm not gonna really say, you know, give a point to casking for that, even though it is much more detailed up on the top, the weight won't get in the way, but small things matter to me. So I'll give a point to casking. A uh, quick comparison of what these rods are. They're both seven foot. This is the medium. This is the medium also. Moving along to the guides. So, the guides on the Luz. The Luz are a complete stainless steel guides without the rubber inserts. But on the Perigee 2, guess what? These are Fuji guides, Fuji guides made in Japan. And anyone that's been in the fishing industry for a long time already knows what quality Fuji guides are. I mean, that is just quite a selling point for me if someone says that, hey, it's got Fuji guides on it. <clears throat> so, point over to the casking. Let's move on to the blanks. So the blank on the carbon fire is an IM8 carbon, I'm sorry, graphite blank with a carbon nano spiral core. What exactly does that mean? I really don't know. But is it the best blank in the world? No. Is it a junky blank? Absolutely not. It's a, it's a pretty good blank. Nothing wrong with it at all. Now the Perigee 2 on the other hand is a 24 ton carbon fiber blank. And as you probably noticed as I was moving it up and down here, you can see all the carbon fiber flossing out all the way until, I'll move it this way so you can see the Perigee 2. It stops about right here. At that wrap it stops and then it just goes to just more of a black matte finish like I said they're both seven foot mediums spinning rods because I do a lot more than just normal finesse fishing I like to do what I call the split shot rig um, every once in a while I will wacky rig with spinning setups but they're not ideal for Ned rigging. They're not ideal for drop shotting because you don't get exactly as much sensitivity at the tip. And I also don't like carrying two rods with me. So that is a problem with fishing with a medium. So guess what? Casking's got you covered because for the same price, look at that right there. This is actually a two piece. I don't know if y'all can see that right there, but this has that M with that medium on there, you take that off. <clears throat> you put the second tip on it, medium light. And now you have a seven foot medium light on it. Right there. Two rods for the price of one. This is the Perigee 2 seven foot medium two tip. So it comes with one tip that's medium and another tip that's a medium light. And it definitely has the action of a medium light fast tip. Still with the Fuji guides and everything. So during this comparison, um, the only way where I see that this rod beats this is of course is in the wind grips. And honestly at this price point, think honestly that's what you're paying for is that carbon that is in the carbon fire is that wind grip because this one at $20 less it beats it in every single category 24 ton carbon fiber blank you're getting an excellent a real unlike this one real skeletonized uh, real seat excellent EVA foam handles uh, very much detailed Fuji guides and two tips. You can get it in a one piece if you're not into two pieces. But if you choose to get the two piece, you can get twin tips. You can get a medium with a medium light because I do a lot of finesse fishing. Or if you don't want that and you say you just like to use spinning rods, period, you can get 
a medium heavy so you can Texas rig at your spinning reels if you choose to so you can get a medium heavy medium or you can get a medium medium light but that's just my take on it uh, the pair G2 is now my full-time spinning reel spinning rod and matched up with my Sharky 3 I mean doesn't get much better than that so anyways tell me what you think if you like this video hit that like uh, subscribe down below please and as always y'all are my family I appreciate you so let's get it